There we got him. Oh, there we go. Hooked on to a bass. Yes. Look at that moss. Yes. Come here, baby. Welcome to Fat Man Fishing. How y'all doing? I want to thank everybody for the support. We're here at Canoe Creek, Pennsylvania. See what we can do today. We're down below the dam, or spillway, I guess you call it. And see what we can do. Um, what's that specific? We're just fishing for anything we can get. Let's just see what we can get. See you in a second. See what I'm using today. Got a my normal medium rod Fluger President. Fluger President. It's the combo. The reel with it. I have on six pound mono. I usually use fluorocarbon, but I have some line laying around at a re spool. I'm like, let's get this stuff used up. So that's what I'm doing. Water's a little murky. Oh, there we go. Hooked on to a bass. Open the gate. That's what we want. Oh, quick release. I should have used the net. I thought I could swing them up. All right, first cast. That's what we're talking about. Get a little love in here. Hopefully, we repeat that process would be great. He came right up and smashed it. Last time I was here was with the family fishing. Yeah, that's right, story time. Now you're fishing. I didn't bring the GoPro because it was with family and I just wanted to enjoy myself a little bit without the GoPro and everything. And I wish I would have brought it because you guys could see me literally run through the water falling like like in a movie, a scary movie when you get guys person's getting chased. A freaking big ass sorry. A freaking big snapping turtle. Decided to come up chasing my legs like there was some fresh meat from the meat market. A little sausage. So I'm booking it. I'm booking it. And I fell directly on my face. And I just kept moving as fast as I could because I was afraid he was going to catch up to me. He's in here. I got him, I got him in other videos and stuff. Still never showed him. Maybe I'll, I'll link in a... Oh, we just lost another one. I think that was a trout. Let's see if I can put his picture up for you. Show you. Old, we'll call him. What are we gonna call him? What do you think we should call Mr. Snapping Turtle? Cause I'm sure we're gonna see him more than once. He's been around. Switch to a Sanko Brown. Do a little wacky rig. Actually, it needs to be a little better than that. So you just go over wacky rig. Well, usually what I do for wacky rig is just kind of get the touches here. Give you an idea where the center is and then boom, right through there. Put it in there and there you go. It's a wacky rig. I'm not sure who invented the wacky rig. Wacky, 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 wacky. But it works. So let's go ahead and try it here in this little spot here. I don't know if we'll catch anything out of here. It's pretty hard to. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> had one out in the gate. Didn't even know it was. Didn't even know I had one on. It's another bass. Okay, we got him coming out of the woodworks here. One little bassy. Look, it's a big, fat, fat worm. Twelve seconds later. There we got him. Not a bad bass, huh? For a little creek, huh? I knew eventually I'd get him. Back my arm off, dude. Come here. That's it. That's it. You got it. You're getting in the net. 
You're not listening. You're being bad. Give me your mouth. Give it. Give it. You're being bad. It's a bad bass. Look at that little guy. For creeks though, these are nice. We're not gonna catch no three pounders in here, so that's nice for a creek. I knew he was in there. There was two of them. I think he was the bigger one. And he wasn't sure about him. We convinced him. Two hours later. Nothing. Nothing, folks. Surprise, surprise, nothing. What to do? Six hours later. Man, I just don't get it. I just don't, don't get it. Shoot. Gotta be fishing these spots. Has to be. There we go. Oh. Finally had a fish. And we lost it. I'm just mumbling myself, there has to be a fish in here. It has to be. I mean, there's got to be more than one, but at least was one that was could have brought in. The hook sets are not doing good on this repeller today. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new. Oh, dang! I realized this was a sinking bait. There we go. Look at that moss. Yes. Come here, baby. Don't lose you. Look at that. Look at that nice one. It's a nice bass. And that will make it all worth it. Yeah, you sloppy. Look at you, boy. Oh, my lord. Look at you. All right, folks. Let's look at this bad boy. Huh? Look at that. All worth the trip. I was just getting a little, a little sad about it. Caught him on a little perch. Boy, there's another one in here swimming around. So let's let this baby go. Let's get a good proper release. There we go. Huh? Here's what we caught in on. Oh my god, look at that. I let it sink a little bit and take it in there. Took it. And there's another one in there. I knew there had to be some bass down in this bad boy. Yes! Another good size one. This thing is loaded with bass. I knew I should have been fishing for bass the whole time. Ah. What's up, dude? Just hanging out, huh? Just fished all this and didn't find nothing. Here it's because I was fishing the wrong species. Oh, you wasn't going nowhere. You was what the heck a hook. Get hooked, yeah, yeah. All right, let's look at this beast. 
I seen them falling. I slowed it down a little bit to get it. Man, they are what they call fat in here too. Oh man, look at that. How you doing, bud? Another beautiful bass. Let's let them loose. Huh? Can you notice where you're at. There you go.